Hello and welcome to our coverage of the final day of the International Champions Cup, an event which has seen clubs invited here from right around the globe. This may have only been a short tournament, but it is one that has certainly left its mark here for all the right reasons. The games have been very largely watchable, more than decent, played in a very good spirit, and everybody who has taken part deserves great credit for bringing the game to a new market. Turnout has been fantastic throughout the event, and it is certainly the case here today as well. Let us hope that it all ends just as well. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. This has been quite an event, and it's an event that should grow from strength to strength from now on. Well, a lot of teams are about to wrap up their pre-season with the conclusion of this game, and they'll have many good memories of, of excellent turnouts and the very warm welcomes received wherever they went. They've made a connection, I think, with the local supporters, as if to say, we'll be back again. we go then Jim who do you pick out as the telling individual today yeah Aidan Dzeko he's a real handful up front Peter and not just because of his height and that physical presence he's got excellent awareness and, and technique and that allows him to bring others into the game he's a very powerful finisher too so he'll be giving defenders a real dilemma about whether to close him down or not I would advise the former yeah, the easiest way to make a difference is to score, so no argument there. Good try cutting inside here. Titi is there, and he can get that clear. Into the channel. Just brushed off the ball there. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Thiago Silva demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. The referee's awarded a free kick. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Klein. Oh, that's neat. That's a corner kick. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Bruges are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Um, it's not movement for the sake of it, and yes, it is working for me. There's a purpose to, to create space. Matuidi, Fulham getting forward at times, but achieving little of substance. That's the end of that. It all started well enough. Played out to the right. Lovely feet. Loose ball. Who's going to get there? Gets it back. Done very well to intervene. Oh, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and he's done for it! <laughs> a 
Samoa. It's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Sambo and Gisa wants to get it forward quickly. Samoa. Looks to dink one in. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. Sambo and Gisa. Promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Forward it goes. Matuidi. Steered in. And that should be the keepers. Looking for a decent ball in. Great leap! Oh, denied brilliantly! Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class rage. Hoists it forward. A really good feat from him. Uh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. He's gone direct. That is gorgeous. Sumptuous finish, an absolute joy. Oh, that is a bit special. Rouge, break the deadlock. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Defending was strong and firm. Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Gets it upfield. Weighted pass, striding forward, facing goal. Gets good distance on it. Fulham have it back and they can go again. Matuidi into the channel. And he's there to clear it. Asamoah's delivery. Sprayed out wide, gets into some space. Oh, well, there's something you don't see every day. Danger averted for now. And it's been taken straight back. And it's Asamoah. Klein gets it back. Checo. Fulham in need of a lift as we head up towards the break. Looking for space out wide. Lovely bit of skill there. Up to meet it! Jacob has a hit! Yes, On the cusp of half time, he delivers with perfect timing. Speed of thoughts, efficiency of movement, 
and certainty of outcome. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised at the right pass, that's what happens. and we're all square well what a convincing response to going behind they've got all the momentum now referee's given a throw intercepts the throw it's well read Rouge have a free kick he gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now well, he knew what he was taking on there, Peter, and special delivery from the ref. Klein, and it's played forward. And helps available out wide. Max Reedy tries to head up! Gone a long way up and away. And there is the half time whistle. So, a very watchable game so far. Action at both ends and the team's level. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? It's been a really good watch, but I think the managers will be looking for that extra bit of organization and focus now just to try and get a little control on this game. Well, the scoreline indicates a pretty tight game, but there has been a lot of action in it. And it has been an exceptionally good watch. The score at half-time, 1-1. We are already promptly back on the way. Well positioned to make that interception. Tried to play it through. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Gets the better of his man. Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal-saving. Oh, real danger here. <laughs> Tries a shot. Well, I suppose it wasn't the worst attempt if you consider how far out he was. He gets past his man. Sambo Anguissa. And it's Jekko. Well played, he saw that coming. Sees it out of harm's way. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention, it was vital. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Finds himself eased off the ball. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. to the left that's been intercepted and that will come to nothing trust the field it goes and he's going long and that's been one straight back Checo. Jekko plays it forward. It's over the line, and it is a corner. Time for a change in personnel. Hoists it forward. He's got away. 
It is quite a run he's making here. Good challenge, excellent challenge. And the shot! It's off target and by quite a way. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. Fulham can make their change now with uh, a break in play. And it's played forward. He hits it! And he's done very well to deal with it. Well, I think a little eagerness just got the better of him. He may have been thinking about back-page headlines there. Fulham get it back again. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. He's got options out wide. The changes then in quick succession. Look long this time. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Looking to break out here. There's no flag. Going through. Oh, well played. He needed to get that right. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Been leave it clear. Concentration levels are very good, and so. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Sambo and Gisa goes for the cross. Oh, he's not going to get that. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Mitrovic did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Oh, shooting chance! Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Modric. Oh, good pad on! It's a keeper's nightmare, Peter. He just couldn't pick up on it until it was way too late, having so many bodies in front of him. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. Well, I think you can write this lot off at your peril. It's been a joy to watch them hold themselves right back into it. Now, can they hang on? 
Out to the right. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. That's how you play on the counter, quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. <laughs> Fulham could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Well, some fans are already on their way out, so... That, to me, says everything, Peter. Oh, sweet feet. And he's cut it out. Last-ditch defending, but that'll do. It's got through, and... Bruges have it back and they can go again. Breaks on here. He's got away. Jekyll. It's Jekyll! It's anyone's ball. And they've been caught out here. Pavon. Pavon wants to play it back. And there goes the final whistle. Fulham, they have won the International Champions Cup. A fine win in this most prestigious friendly tournament, which has been going from strength to strength since it began several years ago. A genuine test against quality opposition from right around the world. And so, to the ceremony. This has been a short but a wonderful tournament. It has served as a fine medium to bring football to new fans. The winners find ambassadors too in the cause of the beautiful game.